I sold my M1 MacBook Air and here are the reasons why. First, my workload changed and honestly, I needed more power. Second, I was gonna go for an M2 Air, but just for a little bit extra, you can actually get a lot more for your money. And finally, I made this purchase knowing that a computer like this isn't just any random old purchase, but rather it's an investment for me. So back in 2021, when I actually bought this computer, I was a pretty simple student. I do my computer science and my business work and from you know programming to essay writing, the M1 Air has been great. In fact, if you're gonna buy one now, the prices have actually come down a ton. So you're gonna get a great deal. Then some things changed in my life, specifically with the work that I was doing and my financial situation. And honestly, if I'm doing work that I'm getting paid for and you know my computer is crashing every time that I'm opening up Final Cut, then that's a problem. And these were just things that I never would have known when I initially bought the M1 Air. See, I actually love the M1 Air because of its price to value ratio. And trust me, despite things changing and me evolving as a person, I really tried to make this computer work. But in the end, after some hard decision making, going with a pro with more CPU and GPU power was exactly what I needed to do. So I did it. Now you might be thinking, okay, man, you gotta buy a new computer. Why not go for an M2 Air? I mean, the M2 Air had an upgraded chip with more GPU power, it got a full redesign, and even had things like MagSafe. It was a pretty great option. But while that was all fantastic, the price also increased. But after you upgrade the SSD to 512 gigabytes and you upgrade the RAM to 16 gigabytes, both of which were non-negotiables for me, you know, at that point, you're only a few bucks away from an M1 Pro base model. And with the upgrades that I selected, it just didn't make sense to not spend a little bit more and get an even better screen, an even better chip, more port selection, just all around a better computer for you know, not that much more. But now this last point was a huge factor for me. And honestly, considering everything made this entire buying process make or break. But before I talk about it, just make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button. It's free and you can always change your mind. Now, the major thing that helped make this decision for me was to keep in mind that this is an investment and not just any regular old purchase. See, I love to get things done. I'm not the type to use my computer to play video games. I have blockers set up on things like YouTube and Instagram so that I'm not, you know, engaged with their feeds all around. I like to stay pretty productive. And honestly, these different things that we buy, I mean, they're tools, tools that we use to make our lives more easier or even to make more money. And if my tool makes it harder to reach my goal, like how my M1 Air actually was, then for me, it's no longer a tool. And I want to use the best tool that I can in order to get the most done. Be sure to check out this video here.